free. Okay, here we go. All right, so yeah, uh, I'll just show you kind of where we're, what we're working on at the moment. This is one of the pieces. Um, so we just created a basic website here to start with, uh, just planetaryguardians.net. Um, you can log in, you know, we got some test, test, uh, test logins. Um, and this, this portal here that we're logging into, uh, it'll basically end up taking the, the user or the facilitator, the, the business owners, et cetera, to different places, you know, but it's basically the framework for our entry, entry point for the whole system. Um, and right now it's just showing basically one of the projects that we're working on. Um, we're working with this this group called the CL, um, who's uh, there's 144 people from 30 different countries. Um, they've mm -hmm. they've got a lot of a lot of diff different skills and uh, stuff going on, and they're they're working towards a bunch of goals. We're building some software for them. Um, they're sort of our test group, and uh, we'll be rolling this out as like a full product at some point as well. But basically. Mm -hmm. We're, you know, we're, we're attempting to make some communications platforms that are unique and uh, going to allow for collective intelligence and for the average person to be able to, to participate in some pretty cool stuff. Um, probably our, our, our end goal is to produce some products for sale, but uh, we're going to be basically at least one of the models that we're thinking is, you know, nonprofit organizations and people like that are going to be able to use it for free. We're just going to charge it out to like corporations and stuff. They'll be the ones paying. Um, that's just one idea. Uh, anyway, just to kind of show you some of the stuff we're working on. So in this one, um, at the very top left, you'll see regular member, facilitator, and administrator. This is the administrator view. So they'll be able to create groups. Uh, very simple setup at the moment. Um, and, and as the facilitator of one of those groups, uh, they'll get a different viewpoint here. And, you know, they can manage their team and stuff like this. Um, this is some of the people, um, ad members, yeah. manage the missions, that sort of stuff. Uh, and the, the average person will just come in and see it like this. Um, obviously, okay, I'm, I'm a really good programmer, I have to say, but uh, my design skills are not great. Um, but that's one of the reasons we're trying to bring on a front-end designer because it's kind of ugly, right? I mean, some of the text isn't showing here. Yeah. Um, it, it works, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's not great looking. So... I've been trying to do the design and the programming, but what we need is someone to kind of take on the role of making it look good <laughs> and eventually, you know, uh, making it for mobile and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're looking for, for one or more people to help with that. Um, and, and we've got other other projects and other pieces of this whole puzzle to work on as well. Um, and, and yeah, kind of at, at, in return, what, what we can do is like write you a good recommendation on LinkedIn. Uh, you know, help you make your LinkedIn better if, if that's if that's something you want to do or work on your CV with you or whatever. But in, in, at the end, too, you can take some of the stuff and put it on your portfolio and say, hey, I was the, you know, one of the front end designers on this or the lead front end designer or whatever. And they can put that on LinkedIn and everything, too. So and we're only looking for like a few hours a week. You know, if you want to do more, that's great. But like three hours a week to start is probably lots. And, you know, I think that's that's manageable. But um, I guess. You know, if you probably have some questions, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. And then we'll probably ask you a few, a few questions, see what kind of skills you have and stuff. Um, but yeah, what are you thinking so far? Like, what is what the first things come to mind? Um, well, I I like the, uh, the project, but uh, so I have to give a fresh look of the um, uh, of this uh, platform. Uh, what I want to know is like uh, this is just for non-profit organizations stuff like that. Uh, primarily, yeah, that's what we're building it for. Um, um, no, 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 no. Oh. Well, I guess yeah, Elijah, maybe take that. I'm see, I, I'm the uh, the IT director, like the lead programmer at this point, so I know kind of how the the functionality works. But Elijah is the architect, uh, the designer, like the creator of the, of the actual software system that we're building. So. I'll, I'll pass it over to him for sure. Okay, just so you know that I've been working on the design of a software system for the past 25 years without being a programmer. So I've got a whole bunch of offline maps mm -hmm. and interfaces and things that I, I want to create in this something called the inflow matrix operating system. And Noah was the first programmer who's worked with me to, to start to create the pieces of it. What this is, is a chat room. It's a chat room that can be programmed 
specifically with values, conversation types, and an objective, and then go from mission to mission to take a team of people, 12 people, to do the mission and then go to the next mission and then go to the next mission. So it's a very controlled environment to take a small group of people to go through and actually complete an objective. So it's very specific towards mm -hmm. team building and team communication and having multiple layers of going from uh, like the sort of core team that builds is something called a shared knowledge community. And that's why it's not nonprofit. It's not like business as we know it. We, yeah. we, we need to create new organizational structures. One that you can have small product teams like this within that brings together certain people to create something and then other teams to distribute it and to have like say a project incubator and product incubator to bring together different software programs, but also anything really. So what this is, is it's, a, it's the beginning of a much larger idea and the workload has all been on Nova. And so we're bringing in a new group of volunteers to check out one, you know, how good you are, to, what's your work ethic, what's your commitment level, how focused can you be, you know, how creative are you, whatever it is, right? You're going to get a test project. Yeah. And this has huge opportunity for business. This has huge opportunity for revenue. But at right now, both me and him, like we're, 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 we're doing this unfunded. We may go out and get a bunch of money, but right now we're, we're, we're operating in a kind of a different way because there's a, there's a bigger picture to this. Like we're not just doing it for the money. We're actually doing this to change the, the course and direction of our species. Like we need to build a new system. We need to come up with a whole different way of thinking. And so based within this idea is a way to create ethical business systems, to create values and program them right into the software. So there's a massive idea behind this. And what we're looking for are people who sort of have a kind of a, a mindset that deep inside you want to save the world. You want to participate in something that is bigger than yourself, bigger than the job, but you see how your job fits into this. So there's a huge opportunity here. Uh, and it's kind of like up to you in terms of how much time per week you're going to commit and how focused you're going to be. Yeah. Okay. How does that sound? Sounds good. Um, and um, like, for um, you don't have any kind of uh, design, so you want me just to re redesign it and do it on my own vision, I guess? Is that how it is, or you have? No, it, it depends. There's, there's many things we need functional and, and designed to be done. And then there's going through everything okay. else and, and upgrading whatever needs to be done. Like right now, uh, no, we'll probably point you to some functional things that we need done that are on its own would be my guess, right, Nova? Yeah, um, and I, I would say also um, we have a few different kind of design projects that, that we want people to work on. So one of them is, yeah, if you're more interested in um, getting into like the design from the ground up and then build build your kind of customized system and then we'll, we'll come behind and, and program it and stuff as well. Um, that's definitely an option. Or if you want to just jump straight into like, okay, hey, we have this 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 design we want built, and you can you know help us build it. Either way, we have we have a couple different projects, so it depends on kind of what you prefer. Like, what what what, do, what gets you more excited? What are you more interested in doing? You know. Mm, yeah, I think I I like the no, a second option. So okay. Then, yeah, kind of. Um, we have kind of the idea of what we need, but we need you to make it look good or finish it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be um, the thing. Have you, that have, you, would be straightforward. have you worked with yeah. phone apps at all, or is that not in your skill set? Phone apps? Um, no, but uh, making responsive mobile friendly is no problem, but uh, phone apps, I haven't yet. But could, you, could, you, could, could you take a current sort of program and make it app friendly? Yeah. Um, you mean mobile friendly? Yeah. Yeah, because Nova's just showing you something here. This is one another piece of the pie, and it's yeah, a, is, a divination site. Uh, it's almost finished, but it's you know a lot of people complain. Oh, it's kind of ugly. It's kind of weird looking. Um, basically, the programming is done, but we would like someone to redesign the look of it, uh, at least to, to give the option. But just to give you an idea, like um, 
it's it kind of like one of those things where you ask a question and it gives you um, some cards that you can kind of create your own answer out of, right? Ask the question, ask, write in the question, uh, what is the best connection point with Donnie? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, you know, you can take this as you, as you will. Donnie, there's offline and online card sets. Okay. This is a divination from a particular card. There's a, something called the conscious communication card set that's linked into this whole idea. And this is the online version of it in divination where you can ask a question and you get this, this answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And currently this does not use um, any AI or anything to determine which cards it gives you. It's, it's sort of a random, but there's obviously opportunities for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can tell the cards are very well designed. But the rest of the, the actual website itself, it could obviously use a kind of an upgrade or kind of a better look. Um, yeah. This is one project too that we're working on if, you, if you're interested in, in this. But yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, I got a couple of random questions uh, like the mobile designs, not something you really do much, that's fine. Um, you you said you're good with like HTML and CSS? Yeah, absolutely, for, CSS, for SaaS. Okay, and like, you know, how about like just making kind of responsive style websites, like not necessarily mobile apps, but you sound like you know, you know, how to make it look okay on a web, on a, on a mobile browser as well, or like kind uh, yeah. of make it. Yeah, you know, so mo it, it's mostly uh, depends on the size of the screen. So when you do mobile friendly, you go over the, um, on web uh, uh, dev tool will show you what, what kind of, phone you're aiming to or what size of screen and we can see um, if it's if your users most if your users mostly desktop desktop users then maybe the mobile is not first and the desktop design is first so you just have to yeah. know which one i'm just i'm wondering okay. if you look at the, the spread of three right yeah um that the phone would have the spread of, of one, two, three up to the, top the yeah, bottom, right? Up to the bottom, yeah. And so, so, you know, he's already got the database in there. I'm just wondering if if it's that difficult to take the, because it's about 400 cards for okay. all of the, for the, for the database. And I'm just wondering, you know, would it be that hard to just have like question at the top of the phone and then the three cards this way and yeah. as a phone app, if, if that is something you could do, I think that would almost have the highest leverage for uh, what we're doing here. Yeah, absolutely. That's not a problem uh, to when we hit that size of the screen and it goes from horizontal to uh, so from top to the bottom. Yeah. We just with the, uh, I don't know if you're familiar in the CSS, we have a, a flex box or split uh, or the, uh, with the flex box, we just set the direction and it just takes us okay. easy. And do you use uh, Bootstrap or anything like that or you just do it like raw CSS? Um, I can do raw CSS and I can use Bootstrap as well. Uh, I, have, okay. I have used that before and I've used other UI libraries as well, like Material UI. Okay, and how about like uh, JavaScript? Are you, are you do a lot of that or? Yeah, I'm comfortable using JavaScript for a functionality or for for animation. We can use CSS or if it's something. Uh, well, like uh, uh, like jQuery or React or Angular or Vue. Uh, yeah, so I'm more of like uh, React. Okay. So I, I'm I'm comfortable with React and JavaScript. So I have no problem using those. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean. Yeah, you definitely sound like you got lots of good skills and uh, know what we're talking about. Like, yeah. So, are you are you in? Like, you want to do a few hours a week and, and kind of let's put you on one of these projects, maybe. And yeah, know? let's. Yeah, that's you know, um, that would be a great idea great. if I can do if we start projects and see how it goes and what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, what's, uh, what's your schedule like tomorrow? Uh, like we, we got to go offline and just kind of like work out the details. Of, and then we've got a few other people to talk to too, but uh, mm -hmm. and, and I, I mean, yeah. Uh, um, wanna, are you able to meet tomorrow?
time again and we can kind of like put you on a project and see what yes. how it goes. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about like five o'clock again tomorrow for you? Or sorry, tomorrow. eight o'clock? Yeah, it is good. Okay, that would be, yeah, same time then again. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, time. awesome. And, that works and I good. guess, uh, like, uh, I guess the other question I had is like, you know, um, uh, what can we do for you? You know, like, uh, you want to do this to, to you know, because they want to help the humanity and everything as well, I would imagine. But, you know, is there anything you, you could use as far as like, you know, help with LinkedIn or CVs or anything like that at this point? Yeah, that, I, actually, I think um, she goes good to reference and uh, um, and on LinkedIn, if you can help out, then that's actually always helpful. You know, it's always good to have good, uh, positive uh, comments on your account. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, as soon as you get into the project, I can like, uh, yeah, I'll be able to, to um, like endorse some of your skills or whatever, mm -hmm. um, you know, we can write you a LinkedIn recommendation. If you want, you can put us under your volunteer uh, stuff, yeah. like Planetary Guardians as a LinkedIn page. You can put that on your volunteer right now if you want, you know, say that you're a uh, front-end developer for us. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, we can do that too and, and help you out some more. Cool, cool. Well, uh, okay, do you got any other burning questions or you want this um, movie to get involved? Just uh, to know, like right now, it's built on pure CSS and HTML, I guess. Yeah, the a bit of jQuery. jQuery, uh, but yeah. And so you want? I'm not really well. I at school they taught us jQuery a little bit, but uh, like, uh, I guess we would change. Well, if we if I know the what the functionality we I can build up from JavaScript instead of just converting from jQuery to to JS. Yep. Yeah, like um, out of like I guess if we were to throw something at you right away, like the chat room kind of stuff, um, or 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 the choose a remedy, you know, really needs a, re a remake. Uh, does either of those inspire you, or you're looking for? Something yeah, this this actually this page is actually really I would I would start working on it. Okay, cool. To see how it yeah, first I have to see like how is it like was it responsive or no, and how the how the structure is and uh, and then from then then have an idea how to make it look nice and what fonts to use and I don't know if you want to keep the background or no. Uh is it important? I think just from, some, yeah. mm -hmm. from the get-go, like I would just say I'm not like not attached. To, I, I would prefer to say to keep the two backgrounds. Everything else you could redo in changed. terms of, of coming up with something new. It'd be nice to have like it, where the dragon is, like where the doors are and where the magic ball is and where the door is to have divine a question, pick a question, write a question and have write a question where the, the glowing ball is. Mm -hmm. I'd prefer that kind of thing. And then if you wanted to add anything aesthetically to that, that, fr that framed in with the other ones, great. You know, that to me is open up for your creativity. Um, I, I, I would love if you're, if you're really creative, you know, just create something fucking beautiful, amazing that, that just is astounding, right? And uh, we'll back you up on it. But yeah, that's good yeah. to know, you know, the, this type of... Because an, art, an artist spent, these these two things were an artist that I know that spent quite a lot of time making it for us. So no copyright. And plus, I, I really like them. I like the magical theme. It's mm -hmm. it's divination, right? So I get that the next page, the, the write a question page, you know, it could be way better. Um, and, and if you go, you come up with a design you like, then let's do it. I mean, this this is almost... This is like the thing that gets hundreds of thousands of hits every day. Everyone's coming in to do their divination. And so this is going to get a lot of people using it daily. Like what we want is people using this daily. Yeah. And that there's a little, there's a button somewhere that says buy a card set. And then that's starting to create the engine in terms of, you know, because there's a, this is a business system. And so uh, the, the goal down the road is that this thing is, is 
generating quite a lot of revenue. So it isn't, you know, part of the, the minimum is what he said. The maximum is you design your ideal job and you're part of the team and, and we're doing very yeah, well. Yeah, down, you know, down the road, some of these tools we're developing, they're, they're, they're built in, you know, there's some, some, some revenue streams built in so that, uh, you know, we can start getting, you know, some income so that we can actually hire people, you know, as, as full-time employees or part-time employees or whatever. So, yeah, that's, you're, you're getting in on the early stage and down the road, if, if, you know, if we get the funding soon, then we'll, we'll probably be trying to offer you an actual job too. <laughs> yeah. For now, if nothing else, you can help us, we can help you. And it's a pretty cool project, something to do and only a few hours a week at least. So. Yeah, that's good enough for me. That's good for me. Um, three, four hours a week. And if I if I want to finish something or if I want to go in more, I always go in more. So well, hopefully yeah, you're inspired. Um, yeah. And I'll, I'll set up the, the project so you can work on it by t um, like starting tomorrow or something. And I guess the only other thing is we just, we usually like meet once a week with our people just to make sure everyone's on, mm -hmm. on track we can meet more than that or we can talk on linkedin or whatever else if needed um yeah. but yeah that, that's the only other commitment we're hoping that you can do is like you know we'll, we'll try to schedule it around when you have time but just once a week check in and say oh you know you can show us what you've done and we can talk about where we're at and anything new happens or whatever um, yeah, absolutely that's no problem i want to be me i'm sure there will be uh i'll I'll go back and forth with you guys and how do you want this and do you like this or no? And, you know, it's good to have your feedback from you as well. For sure. But that's my vision. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I guess the uh, one other question, like uh, how, how would you do the work? Like um, I'll give, I'll give you like FTP access to the, to the website, uh, like the development uh, side of it. And then do you use like Dreamweaver or Notepad plus plus or something, or what do you usually use to, to do the work? Um, well, I use VS and um, oh, yeah. VS Code, but um, to get, um, is there, um, well, how? Because the way we have it set up right now is we usually just use an FTP client. We don't actually have it set up on GitHub or anything at the moment. Yeah. Um, are, are you is there any the dummy client? version? So maybe I can work on that and send it to you, then you can just upload it in your platform or? Yep, yeah. Um, yeah, I can set that up. Um, if you want, I can give you direct access to, to you know, a testing part of the server too, and you can just upload it yourself and, and look at yeah. it live if you want as well. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so, okay, then you just need like the FTP, like password and stuff? Yeah, because it would be better okay. if I have a direct access so I can, play around yeah. the, the the cards and see where what's where located and what you what to put. Yeah. Okay, not a problem. Um yeah, okay, we'll set this up and then we'll we'll meet tomorrow at the same time and just like uh make sure you can get in log in and 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 then we'll we'll talk about the first steps to do. Perfect. Yeah I'll just put it in tomorrow's meeting, eight o'clock. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, great to meet you, Donnie. Right. Great to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Yeah, me too. We'll talk to you tomorrow, I guess. All right, sounds good. Perfect. Right. See you later, Donnie. See you later. Have a good one.